Sup fellow YouTubers and anybody who might be watching this, my name is Daryl and I'm a runner or teacher by day but runner by everything else. Uh, my friend got me this cup, it says education is important but running is important. So right now I'm training for the London Marathon 2024. I got in via a charity spot with RNID. Uh, I tried the lottery system but didn't get in that way. Um, it is my goal to run all six of the world major marathons. Uh, I've run Chicago five times. I did. I got. I put my name in for the first time last year for the New York Marathon and was lucky enough to get in on the first shot. So that was an amazing race. Uh, both the Chicago and New York marathons. I do have videos of that if you ever want to go back and watch. I can put the links. What they say down below, down here somewhere. I'll try that. The shoe that I wanted to try to do a review, because honestly, for the longest time, I didn't even know about shoe rotations. Uh, I had just worn one shoe for training, for long runs, for speed work, and for marathon day. And most of that was, I think, in one of the, the Nike Pegasus. I, I think I wore a Brooks for one of the marathons. I don't even remember what model it was, but most of the marathons that I did run, Everything was done in a Nike Pegasus, probably like 35 or 36 or something like that. It may be even one of the previous models. The shoe that I wanted to talk about is actually uh, by Asics. It's the Gel Nimbus 25s. As you can see, it's been well used. I have 300 miles on this shoe, so it's probably time to retire it. But I just wanted to check in and, and let everybody know, if you're considering buying this shoe, I'll let you know how it is for 300 miles. But before I talk about it, let's go for a run. less than amateur runner. Um, I've run quite a few marathons, but never cracked that four hour mark. Uh, that's one of my goals. I, I tried really hard in Chicago to do that. I, I came in 4.03. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, it was a tough marathon. I almost had it. And then a month later I ran New York and definitely did not get that. I've never done a shoe review before, but hey, I thought I would give it a try because I like this shoe so much. I figured, why not tell everybody else how much I like this shoe? The shoe that I wanted to talk about today, it's Asics Gel Nimbus 25. And as you can see, this one has a lot of wear and tear on it. I've used this shoe for over 300 miles. Um, it's been a good shoe. I used it mostly on long runs, training for the Chicago and New York City marathons. And uh, currently I'm training for London, and for the first few long runs I was using a different shoe, but I switched back to this one because I like it so much. But it's probably time to upgrade it since it's been 300 plus miles on this one. So my first impressions of this shoe here were, you know, I, I was so used to running in the Nike Pegasus series. It, it was my only shoe I ever really ran in. I might have switched it once to a Brooks, but I just went with what I knew. I didn't know a lot about shoe rotations. So it, when I first saw these, I saw a lot of reviews of these shoes online by uh, other YouTubers. Hi, Benny. Benny wants to say hi. 
uh, I, I've watched the videos. And I thought, okay, cool. I'm going to try these shoes. But the first time I saw them, the stack height here, uh, I looked at the shoes and thought, oh my God. It felt very intimidating when I saw these shoes. It actually felt like if you've ever seen Seinfeld, when Kramer bought a pair of special shoes that would make him jump higher. They were really weird looking shoes. I thought, oh my God, look at the stack height on these shoes. I feel like Kramer and Seinfeld, those shoes are supposed to make him jump uh, higher or something like that. Well, the, the Nimbus, I could say for sure, the Nimbus 25s did not make me jump higher, but they did make me feel like I could run faster. The upper, it's a knit upper all the way around. Um, with a, the knit tongue as well. Can you see that? Though the interesting thing is this piece here. I don't know, you have the heel and then this, I don't know if it's a knit piece that goes all the way around uh, the back of the heel here with this pull tab. I don't know really get a lot of use out of that, but I think it looks cool. Maybe it's designed for people who don't untie their shoes all the time. They just uh, keep them tied and then it's easier to pull them on. I don't know. The up. The upper is also made up of 75% recycled material, so that is good for the environment. It's supposed to have a lot of reflective stuff, so when you're running at night, people can see it, cars can see you. Before I talk about the midsole on these shoes, I really should say all of this stuff is new to me. I never really paid, even if I've, I have run like six to seven marathons, I never really paid attention to anything besides I know it's a Nike shoe, the color's cool. I, I don't know anything beyond that. What, I didn't even know if they, what their shoes were designed for when I was buying them. I think I ran one marathon in a shoe that was designed for track work or something. I can't remember, I'll have to look that up, but it was probably not a good idea. But the midsole is my favorite part on this shoe as well, but it, it is super soft. I've never had a shoe like this before. Uh, on my runs, it, it feels so comfortable. Last weekend, I took it out on a 10 mile long run, uh, train for London, uh, 10 mile run. I think eight miles of that I was doing at, at an easy pace and two, I, I kicked it into high gear. I think I was running like eight minute miles or just a little bit slower than eight minute miles. And it was like for the first time in my running life that I felt like I became one with these shoes. I, I was just hitting everything right. I've been working on my running form. I was hitting everything right in the shoe. Uh, and I, I was telling myself while I was running, oh, I, this is probably what Neil Armstrong felt when he was running or walking on the moon, just like floating. I felt like I was gonna just take off in these shoes. So, but other than that, these, I mean, look at these. These things have 300 miles on them. I mean, they look really well used, but they still look like they, I could probably put another hundred uh, miles on these things. One of the last runs I did for the Chicago Marathon, one of my last runs, runs was a 20 mile run. And I just remember it was pouring rain and these shoes did not slip or anything. They had great traction. So the outers felt very comfortable. There is some wear and tear on them now, but that's as expected. It's 300 miles, but they still look, I mean, seriously, they still look amazing. All right, so overall, these shoes, uh, I would definitely recommend anybody who's interested on uh, in purchasing a Max Cushion shoe. The Gel Nimbus 25s have been great for 300 miles. You can tell, I mean, they, they are pretty dirty, but they, they look great. I only have a little, I don't know if you can see that, a little bit of wear and tear right here in the back of the heel. I don't know if I could get that in focus or not. But other than that, it's still a decent shoe. And seriously, they've lasted me a long time. I've mostly used the shoe for long runs. And while I'm running those long runs, training for marathons, I was uh, dialed back the pace. So I'm running a little bit slower than what my ideal marathon pace is. But they can definitely handle um, each time I uh, do those, I usually near the end, uh, the last two or three miles pick up the pace and uh, run at my marathon pace or my ideal marathon pace and they have no problem picking up the speed. Gel Nimbus 26s just came out um, maybe within the last month or so and I think they're currently running at $160 or more. I can't remember the exact price. Maybe they're more than that. But these shoes, 
were the last time I checked, I just I just Googled it. They're at about 100, I think they're on sale at $119. So if you're looking for a good max cushion shoe to do some whatever. I use them for long runs, but you could use them for whatever you wanted to, uh, depending on what type of runner you are. Or if you just want to walk around in a very comfortable shoe all day and feel like Kramer from Seinfeld.